All right. We're going to talk about transformation of probability distributions. Um, example number two. And the, what we have here is let X be the number of billionaires in a randomly selected state. Based on the current records, the probability distribution of X is as follows. The random number of variable X has a mean of, so there's 12.68 um, number of billionaires. And the standard deviation of this. Suppose a law passed requiring each billionaire to pay um, a hundred thousand or one million dollars to their state. The money received by a randomly selected state. Okay, so the money received from by a randomly selected state. So how much are we going to receive from that? Well, um, if you had this right here, so the money received from the randomly selected state. So consider each probability distribution. Well, in order to figure out this new y value, okay, um, we would take our x because it's the number of billionaires, and since to their state, we're going to, um, so we would have that multiplied by $1 million, okay? And that's what we have there. Now, considering when we're comparing the distribution of X and Y, okay, X and Y, because we know the distributions, there is no change in what the shape of the distribution is. So what do these shapes there? Well, the distribution, the prob, distribution of x and y will be the same, all right? And that's what we know. That's what's going to happen. And so in order to find this mean, we're going to find the new mean of y um, by taking the mean of x and multiplying that by 1 million. And so what we have here is this is going to be um, 12, 6, 8 million right there. And that's what we have for our answer for that one. Because we're going to be taking the 12.68 and multiply it by 1 million. And this is approximately how much money received by the randomly selected like state. Okay, about $12 million. All right, and yep. All right, and so now from here, let's calculate and interpret the standard deviation. Well, our standard deviation right here is 29.02. Well, we want to take this value Okay, and we're going to be figuring out our standard deviation of y by taking that same value right there and then multiplying by a million. Because spread and mean both can be multiplied by those different values. And so what we have there, this is going to equal 29. All right, million dollars in for those different values there. Now, what do we have here? Well, <coughs> Uh, what we have is um, the <clears throat> the money received oops, received by a randomly. This I'm just like copy this down. Selected state state typically varies by um, 29 million 20, right, dollars from the mean. All right, from the mean amount. All right, and that's what we have there. Okay, so keyword is typically varies from the mean, okay? Now, each state agrees to invest $500,000 to improve roads. Therefore, the net amount N of the money randomly selected by the billionaire tax is this. Describe the shape, mean, standard deviation, and probability of this. Well, we are subtracting $500,000 from Y now. And so our new value then is, since we're just subtracting that, the shape of N and Y are the same. So whatever they are, they're going to be the same. So the shape is the same. Um, when we're talking about the mean, well, we know the mean of n, okay, 
is going to equal um, whatever the mean of y is and subtract $500,000. And so we'll take that value right here and we'll have zero and zero, zero. Let's subtract those two values. And what we have then is going to be um, about twelve million one hundred and eighty thousand guys right there. All right, thousand right there. And then finally for our standard deviation, well the standard deviation of n is simply going to be the standard deviation of y. Subtract oops, we do not subtract any values. I almost messed up there. Because so remember those values are only affected when we multiply. So our standard deviation is going to remain the same as the previous one. So there's going to be at the same for both. All right, and that's what we have there. Boom. All right, so shape doesn't change. So it means the same mean. We subtract that value, but standard deviation, it remains the same. All right, well, that was the transformations of a probability distribution, and I hope this helps you out on your further problems. All right, good luck and God bless.